Well, seriously, what the hell is this movie? You know that scene in the menu, I would add it, but I can't find it on anywhere to add it. But you know that scene in the menu where the chef is mad at, he's telling, going down and telling them why they're all there and he gets to the actor and he's like, I had one day off and I decided to spend that day going to the cinema to enjoy a movie. And I saw your movie. And it was such a waste of time. And it made him loathe the actor. I don't even, I've never even joined the train of not liking Kristen Stewart for being a one note actor, actress. I think she's really good in Speak. Um, if you guys have read the book, she's literally that character. It's such a good book. Um, Twilight didn't care about it really, but Never thought her to be horrible. I would be the chef to that actress because I had one day off and I decided to go to the cinema to enjoy a movie and I saw her movie, Love Lies Bleeding. What the fuck was that? It has taken me a while. I saw that movie a few weeks ago now. I really have not seen movies at all. I had a whole playlist of all my anticipated movies. And now that life is happening, I'm not really that excited to see movies. The last movie we saw was um, Mean Girls 2024 and ISS. And that's because I spent a day at the theater and I'm thinking about doing that again this coming up week since I have so many days off of work. So I'm thinking about seeing more movies, but I saw this movie on one day off. I got off work early, so I decided to go to the cinema and I'm like, what do I want to watch? What, what's coming out right now about the show? And I see this movie, never seen the trailer, never nothing, nothing like that called Love Lies Bleeding. Rated R. I love Rated R, interesting enough already. I did watch a trailer, I was like, mmm, weird, intriguing. Not because it's a same sex relationship, it's not because of anything. Um, the only reason that would be somewhat of a negative is because they never highlighted that for this movie to be based in the 80s. For that time era, it probably was not um, as okay as it is now, and it was definitely frowned upon. So they never really highlighted on that. And they never really highlighted on, um, let's see, Jackie, Katie O'Brien. Yeah, Katie O'Brien's um, character being a bodybuilder. Again, more normalized now, but back then it's like, I don't know. I wouldn't use this term for anyone, but maybe back then they would call them freaks or something like that or definitely just more judged that relationship and it never really got judged. Um, which I'm glad, I'm glad in this day and age, like I don't want to see that, but if you're gonna be accurate to the times, that's probably realistically what would have happened because we didn't have so many movements and we didn't have so many understanding of different lifestyles. Directed by Ross Glass, um, haven't seen anything he's directed. Stars Kristen Stewart as Lou, uh, Katie O'Brien as Jackie, and then Jenna Malone as Beth, Ed Harris as Lou, Lou Sr., so Lou's dad, Dave Franco as JJ, and overall, it was intriguing, it was interesting. Uh, I'll start talking about the positives and then the negatives. <laughs> Does it have a mixed bag? I don't know. I won't know until I start talking about it. I did not write notes about this. I just am going off my feelings. And number one thing, Chris Stuckman reviewed this movie. He only reviews good movies. Why did he review this? <laughs> because he said that his crowd of audience all made different types of um, reactions to the big weirdest part in a movie I've ever seen. 
And he said, he hasn't been to a theater where everyone has different reactions like that. Does that make this movie good? Not really. It makes this movie weird. It wasn't like the wave. The wave is in sync. Everyone knows to go up and this is much more of like oceans crashing into rocks. Like nothing was in sync. No one, I, I had some people leave the theater, <laughs> um, but that was like at the beginning and maybe those people were closed-minded people that when they started showing the relationship between Lou and Jackie, um, kind of being a relationship, I did see some people leave and I'm just like, whatever, what little closed-minded freaks over there, like whatever. But that wasn't because of the movie. But I swear to gosh, when the ending scene happens, I'll go into detail, but when the ending scene happens, and the whole buildup, I, myself, was like, okay, it's time to go. I left literally when the very last scene happened and you could tell it was like the end and the credits began. Usually I respect movies and I stay to the end of the credits. Hell no. Hell no. I was so disappointed. I will never get this day back in my entire life. Like, what was that? Positive number one. It did have intrigue with um, Lou's sister and uh her sister's name is beth so her relationship with beth and her relationship and confusion and sadness and story i relate low far too well with with beth and her partner um i guess his name's jj dave franco's character um yeah that was that was a little hard for me to swallow because it's literally like my worst fear um, of what happened and everything. So basically Beth is in a very, very toxic relationship. Um, obviously has bruises, obviously has signs of domestic violence. I think they had two or three kids together and Lou and JJ don't talk to each other when Lou goes over to the house. They don't talk to each other. She's only there to see her sister. And, um, you know, he gets, I think he hooks up with Jackie, who is the bodybuilder character. And she's visiting this town before she goes into um, her bodybuilding competition. And that was another interesting fact her bodybuilding competition. I wanted, that was interesting, the buildup of it. Um, I think had this movie been based solely around that competition, that was really cool. And it, it kind of reminded me of Black Swan, how you literally lose your mind um, with any kind of competition that you take a little too seriously. Um, but when Beth is sent to the hospital, very clearly because of JJ, uh, Lou's feeling lost and, you know, pissed and angry and definitely like, I want to kill him. I'm not gonna kill him. But I want to. <laughs> but hurting her sister. So, Jackie, the bodybuilder who's in a relationship with Lou, she sees that and she takes on complete hate for JJ as well. Um, Lou is giving Beth, not Beth, Lou is giving Jackie some steroids and it was so weird. Every time she took the steroids, like her muscles would grow. It really emphasized her muscles growing, the veins popping. Something's happening. She's changing. Something, something epic's going to happen at the end of this movie. So you better sit down. You better wait till the end of this movie. It's going to be so epic. He's like, she doesn't want to kill JJ. I'm strong enough. I'm a bodybuilder. So she goes and damn, she fucks him up. Like he did. He did dead. Like he's no nowhere being alive. Um, and I like that story. It was hard to watch because that situation is literally my, my worst fear. Um, yeah, I, that's as much as I'm going to say about that. Um, the aspect I didn't like 
I'm just gonna go on what I did and what I didn't. It's not gonna be in chronological order, but something I didn't like was the background of Lou and Lou Singer, um, played by Ed Harris. He looked like a really good villain, but the whole, I like, and I like the visual of all the flashbacks were in red and you could tell Lou and Lou Singer have been through some shit. It is like, was he in the mob? There's something going on. Like he had some skeletons, literally not in his closet, but at the bottom of that hill. And that's exactly where after Jackie kills JJ, she's like, I know what we're doing. They hop in their truck. They hop in JJ's truck to go dump his body. And one aspect I didn't really care for again was uh, Daisy's character played by Anne, whatever, I'll put her name right here because I can't say it, but um, she was just kind of annoying, but she, she was kind of like the girl who fantasized over Lou. She wanted to be in a relationship with Lou, but she is a witness because she saw Lou driving J, yeah, JJ's truck, and then Jackie was driving Lou's truck behind her, so she's like, what's going on? And she was very jealous of Lou being in a relationship with Jackie. So, after Jackie and Lou dump JJ's body, Lou has to go and, you know, cover up all the strings, the loose ends, and she's talking to Daisy, and she's like, well, how much do you know? And she's like, well, I know you're driving a truck, and like, I know this, I know that, and I'm, I might go to the police about it. So, Lou's like, you know what? I'll fuck you. <laughs> so, she hooks up with her, so basically to keep her from talking um but I didn't like that character she was annoying <laughs> she was just annoying to me I didn't really like her Jackie went to her bodybuilding competition the day after she killed JJ and it's like Lou asks Jackie to stay in the house because she's gonna go clean up the mess of when she killed JJ and she's like no I have the competition tomorrow you can't stop me it's like bitch you should be in jail <laughs> Why, you can't just kill someone and then be like, I'm going to go to my competition. That'd be like me with dog shows. Like, I just killed someone, but I have to show Scarlet tomorrow. Anyway, whatever. That So that was weird. But she goes to the competition and becomes very black swan because in her mind, she's doing great. You can tell she's definitely on stuff. She's on some steroids. She may have overdosed on them because she hallucinates really weird stuff. I'm not going to get into that because I was... That's like a buildup that actually paid off. I was like, ugh. <laughs> like, damn, that was good though. It was creepy. Um, and then she feels betrayed by Lou because she finds out that uh, Lou slept with, what the fuck is her name? Daisy, the little dumbass girl. And so she's like, she goes to the dad. Oh yeah, and Jackie works for Lou's dad, Lou Singer. Um, at like a gun show restaurant. She's a waitress and he, he's a gun show person. So he like has guns. He obviously has done some stuff with those guns. And that's what the flashbacks keep showing. And basically he's killed a lot of people and then he kills more people. And it, it kind of alludes to he murdered Lou's mom, his wife. So that's why Lou and him don't really have a relationship yet. Uh, Lou takes Daisy out after the night they hook up and they have breakfast and they're going back to their house. And Daisy's all like fucked up, you know, oh, she's either just stupid or she's drunk, one of the two, like, or both. But she's all like stumbling and stuff. And it shows it from such a great angle. Lou's walking in the house and Daisy throws up so she projectile vomits on her. So she's already like, ew, like she knew something landed on her. And it shows her walking into the house with Daisy behind her after she projectile vomited. They open the door and boom, more stuff lands on Lou's face and hair. But this time it was Daisy's brains because Jackie joined forces with Lou Sr who told her to eliminate Daisy, who is the loose end. So that's when the acting gets really bad for Kristen Stewart and uh, 
to me, Katie O'Brien, because I guess Lou Senior like holds, uh, not Katie, holds Jackie like hostage. And so Lou has to go to her rescue. And that scene was just so bad. They're like, I love you, baby. Who am I getting? You know, Kristen Stewart's little deep voice. She's like, oh, I love you so much. Oh, I'm so sorry. And Jackie's like, I don't know. It's just so bad. It was that bad of acting. Like, it was just so bad. I could tell they were doing really good with, like, the chemistry of them until that point. Then I'm just like. So, what I liked from the. Uh, the film was the gore when JJ is killed, when uh, Daisy is killed. Those were really good, really unexpected. I think they even used prosthetics for uh, Dave Franco when he got killed. And that all looked really good. Um, towards the tail end with the whole, I miss you and I love you. And, oh, and her being like, eh. I don't know, all that stuff, that's literally just all I can explain it, because that's really all they did. And then we're going to go into the ending, where I just wanted to not even stay and get the fuck out of there and get the day back. That I will never get back, you guys. I'll never get that day back. So the ending, the whole build up to Jackie every time she takes a steroid shot or get mad or want to seek revenge for Lou and her muscles would get big and the veins would be popping and just what is going on? She seems like she's getting bigger, bigger than just even a bodybuilder, like kind of unbelievably huge, kind of like a monster. And in the trailer, it does show Lou Senior go like, what are you? So it's like, is she going to turn into a werewolf? Is she something blah, blah, blah? Who knows? This is going to take a whole different twist. And it sure does. And this is the part where Chris Duckman's like, oh, I rated it so high because it's, there are emotions everywhere in my theater. My emotion was to get the fuck out of there because, like, what the fuck? Basically, Jackie holds down Lou because he's a tiny little man and she grew to be such a huge fucking giant. Literally like the green bean giant. And she's holding him by his little arms. And then Jackie and Lou, who looks like Kristen Stewart now because her acting is just out the window. She's not even playing the character of Lou anymore. She's just Kristen Stewart. <laughs> You know, like those movies, like you want to be known for the character, not for the actor. No, it's just Kristen Stewart and Jackie running in this like mystical, whimsical sky. And she's like really big. And I was just like, that's it. What the fuck? Um, and then the very ending kind of left on the cliffhanger a little bit. Basically, Lou's like, oh, I'm not going to kill anymore. And Jackie's like, yeah, we're going to get out of here. Everything's going to be fine. And then Daisy, who she thought she killed. She's the one who was brain splattered on her. Uh, they're going to go bury her body or like throw her body in the pit. But in the back of the car, she starts moving like she's not able to talk. She's very on the brink of death. But she starts like, you start seeing her little head. And then Lou gets out of the truck. It shows Jackie lay her head against the window. And in the background, you see Lou dragging Daisy's body into a field. Roll credits, I grabbed my drink. I went home and I'm like, why? What the fuck? The third movie I've seen this year and that. So I give it an F. An F minus. It had intrigue and it had gore. So yeah, that is my review of Love Lies Bleeding that I accidentally saw that I regret ever seeing that I will never see again. And I know I will forget it except for maybe it will only win it be remembered in my mind for being the worst movie I saw this year. So far, absolute. I liked ISS better than that. Um, so, so far I've only seen three movies. I need to go see more. I swear I'm gonna, um, maybe this week, but so far my ranking, 
from worst to best is Love Lies Bleeding, ISS, Mean Girls. So, but yeah, that is my review. I'm going to try to be doing more reviews. Um, I haven't, again, really seen that many movies I'm actually interested in. It's more like if I could do watch-alongs and watch Planet of the Apes and King Kong, Godzilla, uh, Kung Fu Panda, all those things with you guys, then be more well-versed going into those films. But I'm not, so now I'm like, I don't know what those films are going to be about. But I am interested in Joker 2. Um, I can't remember the name. I should, but um, that trailer just dropped and it looked amazing. Beetlejuice 2 looks amazing. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. And there's another one, Maxine. You guys, we finally saw the trailer for Maxine. Um, so those, uh, toward the end of the year, I'm probably going to be going to movies and seeing more of them. I think this Friday I want to really try to see... Um, Arthur the King, the movie that's a dog movie. Um, I hope it's not too sad, but it should, any movie is better than Love Lies Bleeding. Please like if you guys like this uh, video. Subscribe if you want to see more. I should be having more videos coming out, movie reviews. Let me know also if you like the baby content. I really haven't gotten traction on those, but if anybody's still interested, let me know. Um, I do have some stresses going on in that situation, but until I can get those resolved, I don't really want to talk about them, um, either if they're resolved nicely or not so nicely. Uh, I will just see. That's very vague, but it is a very personal thing that I'm going through right now. But other than that, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to catch more videos for me. I'll see you guys in the next movie, th uh, movie theater, movie review. Bye.